Are you struggling to summarize your data based on calculations involving dates? It can be quite a challenge, especially when you're not sure where to start. But don't worry, you're in the right place. Today, we will break down how to summarize your data effectively. I completely understand how overwhelming it can be to deal with data that includes dates and various calculations. You're not alone in this. Many people face similar issues when trying to analyze their data accurately. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user asked, how can I summarize my data based on calculations on dates? They provided a data set with IDs, dates, drug usage, and scores. Sound familiar? If you're facing a similar situation, stick around as we explore the solution together. So what exactly do we need to calculate? For each ID, we need to find the mean score for days when a drug was taken, the mean score for the days immediately prior, and the mean score for the days immediately after. It sounds complex, but we will break it down step by step. And make sure to stay with us until the end. I have some bonus tips that will help you adapt this solution for additional calculations, like minus two day and plus two day scores. To summarize the data, based on the calculations for each ID, the user should first group the data by ID and identify the days when a drug was taken. This will help in calculating the mean scores for the specified days. Next, the user should calculate the mean score for the days when a drug was taken, referred to as the zero-day score. This involves filtering the data for each ID where the drug score is one. After that, the user needs to calculate the mean scores for the days immediately before and after the drug was taken. This requires checking the previous and next days for each drug-taking day. Finally, the user should compile the results into a summary table that includes the mean scores for minus one day, zero day, and plus one day for each ID. This will provide a clear overview of the data. For the bonus questions, the user can adapt the calculations to include minus two day and plus two day scores by extending the logic used for minus one day and plus one day. Additionally, to calculate a no drug score, the user should filter out any days within five days of a drug taking day and then compute the mean score for the remaining days. Now, let's address those bonus questions. To calculate minus two day and plus two day scores, you can adapt the same logic we used for minus one day and plus one day. And for the no drugs score, you will need to find the mean of all days that are not within five days of a drug taking day. And there you have it. You now know how to summarize your data based on calculations on dates. Remember, practice makes perfect. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks. This user suggests using the DPLR and Tidier packages in R to summarize data based on date calculations. First, they create a data frame with the provided data. Then they fill in missing dates using the complete function, making implicit observations explicit. Next, they categorize the days into those when a drug was taken, the day before, and the day after. Finally, they summarize the scores for each category using the summarize function, resulting in a clear output table. That's it for that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative approach provided by a user involves using the DPLA package in R. They suggest grouping the data by ID and arranging it by date. Then they use the lag and lead functions to calculate the scores for the previous and following days, while ensuring that consecutive drug taking days are handled correctly. The user also emphasizes the importance of excluding scores from consecutive drug taking days in the calculations. Finally, they summarize the results to display the mean scores for minus one day, zero day, and plus one day. That's all on that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative approach suggested by another user involves using time series packages, specifically the zoo package in R. They create a function to convert the data into a zoo time series format, which helps in handling missing dates. The user then splits the data by ID and calculates the required statistics while ensuring that scores from consecutive drug-taking days are excluded from the calculations for the previous and following days.